So maybe you're used to being unnoticed and overlooked and undervalued. You're in the cheap seats. But imagine if one day that all got turned upside down. It would be like if you went to one of those concerts and you got the cheapest ticket possible. It was so cheap that not only were you up there in the balcony, but you were behind a pillar. You couldn't even see the front, you know, it's a stage. You're just listening to the concert. And as the concert goes on, you know the singer, every once in a while, singers like get off the stage and they, they walk around the, the expensive seats and they'll stop and they'll sing to you and you feel like, wow, that's, that's so amazing. But what if on that day, the singer hopped off the stage and instead of staying there, started climbing up the stairs and climbed all the way up to the top of the balcony and hunted around, got around the pillar, found you and got right close to you and sat next to you and looked at you in the face and started singing. How special would you feel? Your ticket didn't buy that experience. You weren't anybody of note that that singer should come up and find you and bring the concert to you. But that would just change your life. This is what God does. God sees the lowly in a state, as we found out in chapter 1, when Mary is overwhelmed. How did he see me? How did he even know that I lived, that I existed? God sees the people in the cheap seats, and he loves them, and he came to them, even though they were as far away as possible as the real, where the real action was taking place. He brought the birth party to a bunch of nobodies so that he could bring them in to a circle of grace and make them somebodies. 